Oy vey! The sound of distress carries to Mount Israel, and the Shin Rock trembles. Oy vey! And slowly turns into the Kosher Crusader. Shalom, man! Shalom, shalom, my hovering. Greetings, my YouTube mishpah. What's up, what's up, my people? And welcome, friends, to Bible on a Bicycle. My name is Will, and I'm an aspirant follower of Yeshua HaMashiach. That is, Jesus Christ. What's up, folks? I thought we'd do something a little different, a little off the key here. Something a little silly, like-hearted, just to kick back and kind of enjoy kind of video. I've actually been wanting to make this video for probably over a year now. I'll give you a little bit of the story behind it. A number of years ago, I mean a number of years ago, back in probably 2012, somewhere in there, maybe even before that, I was doing a property clean out and I came across this guy who was kind of a hoarder and he used to own a comic book shop. Long story short, I ended up with a whole apartment full of boxes and boxes of comics of every kind you could think of. They were mostly like independent comics, which was even more of a thrill for me being a comic book kid from way back in the day. So for the next almost year, I went shuffling through all these comics, giving comics away, selling comics on eBay, and I came across quite a number of unusual comics. But one that really stuck out to me, and I held on to, and when I started this here channel, Bible on a Bicycle, I knew someday that I was going to be making a video about Shalom Man. That's right, Shalom Man. Shalom Man. Shalom Man. Look at that. That's just beautiful. That's beautiful. Any of y'all out there ever heard of Shalom Man? Well, I hadn't either. I knew nothing about Shalom Man or Mark I Comics. Unfortunately, I only had a few issues, but I knew that I was going to find out more about it. So I went doing some research in hopes that someday I would take the time to sit down and make this here video. So we're going to find out more about Shalom Man and the artist behind this unique superhero, Al Weisner. So get you some snacks and kick back, relax, as we take a dive into the history of that kosher crusader, Shalom Man. All right. So let's talk about Shalom Man, the Jewish superhero with powers that rival Superman's. He's known as the Man of Stone, Defender of the Downtrodden, and the Kosher Crusader. And he's the brainchild of Al Weisner. Back in 1985, Weisner felt there was a shortage of Jewish role models in the superhero world, so he decided to change that by creating Shalom Man. Inspired by Jerry Siegel and Joseph Schuster, the Jewish creators of Superman, Weisner aimed to inject some Jewish identity into the superhero scene. He noted that despite Superman's creators being Jewish, many fans assumed the iconic hero is just your typical white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. A veteran who served in the United States Air Force, Al Weisner worked as a hairdresser for 40 years, but he always wanted to be a cartoonist. In the 1980s, with Israel becoming a powerful and safe country, Weisman felt that the people could envision a truly Jewish superhero with strength and intelligence. He set to work creating said hero, and Shalom Man was born in 1988. Kippa clad and possessing a Golden Age-esque art style and visage similar to Superman, Shalom Man was created by three wise men, Justice, Equity, and Wisdom, aka J-E-W. For over five years and 25 action-packed issues, Weisner, hailing from Philadelphia, chronicled Shalom Man's adventures. Picture this, Shalom Man, decked out in skin-tight white and light blue attire, with a gold belt and matching yarmulke, proudly sporting the Hebrew letter shin on his chest instead of Superman's S. Now, let's dive into Shalom Man's origin story. Three wise men decided to infuse a rock, 
shaped like the Hebrew letter Shin, with magical powers to combat the world's evils. They called him Shalom Man because Shalom means peace in Hebrew, and who doesn't love peace? When trouble brews and someone shouts, Oy vey! Boom! That rock transforms into a muscular, curly-haired man with superhuman strength. The ability to fly and a knack for hearing even the faintest of sounds. Plus, he's got sensor vision. Think telescopic vision, but with a Hebrew twist. Shalom Man is not a human superhero, but a creature created out of stone, in a direct parallel to the Jewish legend of the Golem of Prague. While Superman is widely known as the Man of Steel, Weissner chose stone instead because, quote, stone is permanent and stone is here to stay, unquote. When citizens in distress shout, Oy vey! Their cries travel to the fictitious Mount Israel, where a shin rock transforms into the Man of Stone. Shalom Man possess most of the powers of Superman, including flight, super strength, super speed, nigh invulnerability, super breath, and a host of other abilities. Shalom Man embarked on mostly comedic adventures facing mostly comedic foes, including the nefarious Dr. Trapp. But Shalom Man's most memorable and poignant story is told in the saga of Shalom Man number eight, in which Shalom Man meets his most human foe, Donald Nyer, aka D. Nyer. A Holocaust denier with an unmistakable Hitler-esque mustache. Nyer speaks to crowds regarding his disbelief that the Holocaust ever took place, but Shalom Men takes Nyer back in time to witness the atrocities of the Holocaust for himself. I really had no idea they were so cruel, despairs Nyer. The people who recruited me for the job on the street corner talks assured me that it was all a Zionist hoax. Now I can see it was true and just as bad as survivors say. While usually cartoonish, the artwork in the issue is quite realistic, including imagery of Jews behind barbed wire fencing at Nazi concentration camps. Al Weisner, now 91, lived through World War II and thus was alive for the greatest tragedies and triumphs of the Jewish people, the Holocaust and the founding of Israel. But he always wanted to see a superhero embody Judaism in ways that Superman and others did not. With Shalom Men, Weisner, and others like him had their answer. While the adventures of Shalom Men have ceased and the character no longer appears in comics, the Kosher Crusader stands as the Jewish superhero, and certainly one to be remembered. Although Shalom Men's comic adventures ended in 2012, his legacy lives on as the ultimate Jewish superhero, a beacon of strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Well, there you have it. What do you think of that? It's amazing, isn't it? Look at there. I even wore my uh, comic book superhero shirt. That's Yeshua. That's right. The only superhero that actually saved the world. That's Yeshua. Jesus. But what an awesome, awesome superhero. I'm impressed. I only had a few copies of uh, Shalom Man. Uh, uh, issue number two and issue number eight. And then out of the uh, new adventures of Shalom Man, I have issue number nine, which by this point in the video, unless I added it in some way, you, you've already been looking at these. I know this here is a little different kind of video than what we usually do around here, but hey, I'm a big fan of comic books from way back. How about any of you all? Any of y'all into comic books? Was you into comic books when you was a kid? Granted, I'm not into them like when I was a kid. When I was a kid, you couldn't stop me every weekend. Bam. I'm down at the drugstore comic rack, trifling through it and getting my pocket full of change together. You know, you can take in Coke bottles, all that back then. All right. I'm red and I'm a babbling. But let me know some of your favorite comic books. If you have them down below, I'd be interested. Whether they're Christian or religious based or not. But let me know if you've ever heard of Shalom Men before. Or if there's any other religious based superheroes out there that I'm not aware of. I'd be interested in finding out more. It's a whole crazy genre. I think it's very interesting. And to be honest refreshing.
I mean, can you imagine Shalom men in the MCU? Well, thank you for joining me here today. I know your time is valuable and I appreciate you wasting it here with me as we take a look at this here unusual kosher crusader Shalom man. I really had fun making this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. If you did get anything out of this here little video, you know the whole routine. Maybe consider giving it an old thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, maybe hit that subscribe button down there so you don't miss the next video. If you have a friend or family member that you think might enjoy watching this here little video and finding out more about Shalom Man, hit the little share button down there. All those things help small channels like this here one. It only take you a second, but it means a whole lot to this here little channel. Really do appreciate it. Hope everyone out there is having a beautiful and blessed day. And until next time, remember, Yeshua, Jesus loves you. So do I. Get off of here. Go ride your bike, read your comics, but more importantly, read your Bible.